Hi, uh, this is Ramanujan, uh, father of uh, Srivats Ramanujan. Uh, Srivats has been with Fiji integrated since 9th standard. And um, uh, why we selected Fiji is what something I just wanted to uh, tell you up front. Uh, basically, Srivats uh, was a good uh, student, uh, one of the top rankers in his school earlier uh, since 1st standard. And um, till his 8th standard, uh, he was doing extremely well in Akkads and uh, um, we had put him in uh, another coaching class before that and he was doing very well there also. Uh, what uh, prompted me to go to Fiji was mainly the rigour that Fiji has, the materials that they have and uh, the kind of peer group that uh, Fiji gives. See, why, uh, why I'm talking about this is I've been generally fascinated with um, uh, IIT students. Uh, basically, I'm an engineer myself, and I know people from IIT, a lot of people from IIT also, even though I didn't study in IIT. Uh, so I always uh, looked up to those people in high esteem because they know their fundas very well. They have their concepts extremely uh, sound. So I wanted Srivats also to have very good fundamentals uh, because I mean, till, till sixth or seventh, uh, everyone goes through the same stuff. And by the time uh, kids, they, they generally um, show some kind of interest or disinterest, whatever be the case. So in, when he was in seventh or eighth, I, I was just asking him what he wanted to do, um, what he wanted to pursue. Uh, see, he didn't show much interest in um, uh, law or accounts or even literature. In fact, I, I gave him a lot of options. Uh, he can take up anything that he wants. He is not forced to go for one stream or anything. Um, so when I gave him all the options, he was not so inclined towards other things. And he said, I'm doing very well in science and maths. So uh, let me take that itself uh, for my uh, 11th and 12th also. So that set the foundation for uh, going for a STEM background. So having decided that uh, he'll go for STEM background, the next option, the next choice is where to put him. So as I said earlier, he was going for another coaching class, but that uh, I mean, the conceptually they were also quite good, but the materials and the rigor was not there, is what I felt. And uh, moreover, I wanted him to be in a peer group which actually um, discusses uh, the kind of problems that uh, IITs give, or the kind of, I mean, basically the, the foundation has to be very strong. That's, that was the idea for me. Okay, whether he gets into IIT or not is secondary. It doesn't matter in life, frankly. That's what I came to know later on. It doesn't matter much whether whichever college you go to, your foundation has to be extremely good. If you want to be a good uh, worker, if you want to be a good uh, student. So with that objective only, we put him in Fiji. Okay, that's that's how it started. So when when um, uh, he started going to uh, ninth standard, when he, when he put him in integrated Fiji, say earlier he was always the topper in school, number one or number two. There was not much competition. Probably his mother is uh, <laughs> his mother can talk about that. Uh, probably his experience, initial experiences in Fiji, how it was. Srivas was always very good at school until he came to Fiji. So the third week after Fiji, he had a breakdown. I I'm sure most students have it, but I don't know if uh, people are comfortable. I'm very comfortable talking about it. So we had a meltdown. He just came home, he cried, and he said, this is not me. Do you know I'm the dumbest in my class? And uh, I said, yeah, that's okay. He said, no, I cannot do this Fiji thing. I need to drop out. And we told him that uh, knowledge for knowledge's sake, now you just go. So he cried, screamed, kicked, no jokes. It, it was an emotional meltdown he had. Then we came to know that a lot of other kids also go through this process. At that time, we told him, it is all right. You need not get into IIT. That is not why we put you in Fiji. Fiji is really good at the concepts. The teachers are great. And we told him that we will not put any pressure whatsoever on him. Three months, he was a little better. But till date, he always tells us that his, he's amazed the amount of people in Fiji that he has met who are so good uh, in concepts, who are so fast, who are, he says uh, he's very lucky to be among you know such a peer group. 
um, three months were bad and then um, he became better and then very slowly he said I think I can do it uh, the one thing I would really like to point out here is um, the teachers amazing amazing teachers and number of times I've received phone calls Ishri what's okay he didn't come to school he had a problem or uh, the physics teacher, the chemistry teacher and the math teacher, amazing teachers. More than the teachers, I think um, the emotional support they gave him and his friends, amazing friends he's found. Uh, it's good fun and uh, I think he started understanding knowledge for knowledge's sake. He's getting there. That's it. And so this uh, initial phase that she talked about, no? I mean fortunately or unfortunately, uh, I was at home at that time. I wasn't working. So I used to drop him uh, and pick him up back from school. So I used to spend a lot of time with him. That's what I wanted because it's a different environment for him. Naturally, he would have adapted even without me. He would have adapt adapted, no, no doubt about it. But still, I think it made a lot of sense for him also. I mean, it, it gave him a lot of support at that time. So I generally used to discuss with him what's happening in school. Nothing on ACAD side at all. Who are your friends? What are they doing? What are the other activities? I, I generally don't talk to him about ACADs also. I mean, generally I avoid. Okay, so what are the other activities that you do? Who's your best teacher or who's your most favorite teacher? So I used to like, initially in 9th and 10th, we, they had social studies also. And they used to prepare for NTSC. So there was one specific teacher who uh, used to take uh, quizzes and all in class. And Srivats used to like it. The way he uh, took that class itself, Srivats liked that. So we used to talk about it. So a lot of things, uh, I, when I when I dropped him in school or picked him up from school, so that gave him a good amount of confidence during the initial phase to settle down. I mean, we, we never, I mean, as parents, we never pushed him to get this rank or that rank. I used to tell him, you just do whatever you can do best, okay? Put your best effort, results will come automatically. You don't need to worry. If you feel bad about it after one test or something, he'll be totally down be completely down and then come back and say oh i didn't do this very well at all that's fine i said forget it these tests are all is nothing nobody is going to remember how much you scored in this test or how much you scored in iit also after five years no one will remember what you did in iit okay it's so just go learn enjoy daily every day morning when i drop him i'll tell enjoy enjoy the day come back home with a smile that's what i used to tell him Okay, so that that kind of conf probably confidence that we put him or there's no pressure from our side mainly okay on acads per se i used to tell him concentrate on other things get to know more people go out and do other activities all those things i used to do but at the same time because he is a very sincere student okay so he'll always try to give acads the first priority okay so he used beyond after some time I, we realized that okay, there's no need for us to get involved in ACADs at all. There's no need. He'll do himself. So it's the other environment that we were focusing on at home or the health. I mean, uh, because he's also, I mean, he's not very uh, bulky or he's very puny. Okay. <laughs> and uh, he, if, he, if he have food outside, he has an upset stomach. Okay. So a lot of things we have to avoid. Though he, you, he likes to eat out. He likes outside food. He likes junk food. <laughs> okay. Beyond of, <laughs> after some time, he realized he realized that it's not working for him. He realized that he can't take it so frequently. So it had to be measured once a month or once in two months or it had to be measured. So these are other important factors which, as parents, we realized and. Probably he realized it slightly later. <laughs> so uh, that's one thing. So uh, along, I mean, around health, there has to be a lot of emphasis uh, uh, from us because uh, I mean, kids are kids. No, after all, they are kids. They want to have uh, outside food. They want to enjoy. So that that's one more thing. Anything else that you think of? I'm a teacher. I teach math and. All the kids that come to me, I, I tell the parents this, don't put pressure on your kid. It's absolutely fine. So the kids that come to me, that's what I tell them. And I can see them bloom when the pressure is taken off. In fact, 
for Shrivats, we never put any pressure. We just told him one thing: knowledge for knowledge's sake. Because whether it's IIT or uh, he is from two renowned institutions, my husband, my himself. Whether it's the IIT or the IITs, doesn't matter. In life, what matters is your character and your attitude as to how to get it. So we just let him be. Whatever the tests or the marks, uh, we never used to be worried. In fact, it used to be a big. Uh, I remember one of the sirs actually asking Shrivats, "Your parents don't pressure on you? <laughs> Why?" <laughs> so we have never put any pressure on him. He used to have his anime. He used to watch his anime. He used to do everything, and he used to read. Uh, I think the biggest thing was uh, we didn't put pressure, and we told him knowledge for knowledge's sake. In the uh, faculty at Fitchy, I, I really hats off to them. Uh, it's amazing the way they supported him emotionally. And you know, knowledge-wise, if the faculty at Fiji were not there and the rigor were not there, uh, I don't know if she was would have learned so much without the pressure. So he, they are just dogs standing on the shoulders of giants, and the teachers and the faculty at Fiji are the giants on which a dwarf, who is my son, is standing. That's the only way they are seeing the world. So thank you. And um, I mean, with all, everything is possible only with God's grace. So, I mean, we need to keep. Exactly. I mean, as parents, we we always uh, make him pray, at least for a few seconds or a few minutes every day. Because uh, we tell him that is only through the grace of God that he managed to get such good friends at Fiji and such good teachers. And uh, why I keep emphasizing on the teachers is, I personally believe that without the guru. who gives you his blessings and his efforts you know these guys are not going to make it anywhere uh, i really don't even know what the you know the the effort the teachers put every phone call every mail every message why is he absent why is he not done that without their grace i mean they they just went out of their way they were not mere teachers they were really gurus and without their blessings it's not possible even for that as my husband said there is the grace of god so yeah we make him pray every day <laughs> and uh, the faculty at pg were very nice because he sent him there the day before the exam and said you have to namaskaram panni you have to get blessings and come and they were gracious enough to whether they believed it or not you know they let my son do it so yeah the grace of god and the teachers thank you <laughs>